Okay, so today I want to do a quick round of EFT tapping for your illness. And this is something that I just do periodically when I'm feeling overwhelmed about things and I want to release it. There's tons of videos online. You can find EFT tapping anywhere. EFT tapping is just a sequence of tapping your meridians while you're thinking of the negative emotions and you tap them out and then you tap in the positive emotions. It's a simple as it gets. Um, there's also a process called Faster TFT, Faster EFT, uh, done by Robert, and you can look him up online. He just does not quite as many points, um, and he does more with the memory work. It's a little bit different, but you can go ahead and look up all those those videos online. They're all super helpful. But I'm just going to do one specific for this illness that you have. And we're just going to uh, do about three or four rounds of it. When you are really down, you probably need to do a minimum of 10 rounds of negative before you even do the one of positive. So I'm going to do like three rounds of negative and one round of positive. I would say at least 10 rounds of negative and then a round of positive. But ideally, you check in with yourself. Um, after each round and you give yourself a number from 1 to 10 so in the beginning how much is this illness bothering you destroying you how much are you thinking about it what do you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 10 being the worst so maybe say you give it an 8 like it's just consuming or whatever so you're trying to get it down to zero now when you're working with this chronic illness and you have symptoms flaring it's unlikely that you're gonna get down to zero but you just want to reduce it and feel in a better place so um, let's do like three rounds of the negative and one round of the positive. But the goal is to probably do 10 or at least until you're down to like five or four before you move on to the positive round. So if you keep staying at 10, 9, 8, 10, 9, 8, you just keep needing to do more of those. How long does it take? I don't know. Some tappers say you could go hours, hours, tap until, until you reduce it. So you don't want to bring in the positive until you get it down under five at least, okay? So, so right now, just think of your illness. Think of everything wrong with you. Think of everything that's bothering you and how hard this is on you and your family. Just let those feelings and emotions come into you and then rate it. Give it a number from one to ten. Okay, when you have your number, these are the points. I'm just going to tell them quickly. You tap on, um, there's many different ones, so it doesn't really matter, just here's one that we're going to do. Tap on your karate point first, um, above your eye, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, under the chin, collarbone, under the armpit, top of the head, and a deep breath in, and out. And then you rate again from 1 to 10. Okay, so that's the sequence we're going to do. So just follow along and go with it. It doesn't matter if you get it perfect, okay? So, karate chop point. Even though I have this illness, even though I'm sick, even though I feel shitty all of the time, I'm scared that I'm never going to heal and I don't know what to do. I love, I deeply love and accept myself. I love and accept myself anyway, in spite of all of this. Okay. I'm so scared that I'm never gonna heal. I'm worried, I don't know what to do. I wish all these symptoms would go away. They're ruining my life. They're ruining my family's life, my children's life. Everyone I know. Why is nothing I'm doing working? I'm trying so hard. I'm such a failure. What's it going to take to heal this? How come I can't heal this? Why am I still sick? I wish I wasn't sick. This is so hard. All of this is so hard, it's overwhelming, and I'm scared. I'm really sad. I'm really sad. 
and I wish it would just end. Okay, take a deep breath in. Blow it out. And then rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. If it's the same number, that's fine. If it came down one, that's great. Just note the number and let's move on. Even though I have this illness, even though I'm sick, even though I'm in pain, even though I'm suffering, I deeply love and accept myself. I love everything about myself and I wanna help myself. I'll truly never give up on myself. But I'm not sure what to do. I'm just so tired. I'm so worn out. There's so much pain and suffering. Why won't it stop? I've been through enough. So much time has passed. I've lost so much time. I've lost so much of my life. This doesn't seem fair. I'm trying so hard. Everyone's abandoned me. Even God has abandoned me. I feel so alone. And I'm so scared. I just want to get better. I just want to be better. I just want somebody or something to help me be better. Please, dear God, please help me get better. Take a deep breath in and blow it out. Notice how you're feeling about everything now. Rate it from a number of one to 10 and keep going. Even though I'm sick, even though I have this illness, even though I've seemingly tried everything and done everything, and it still continues to destroy my life, I still deeply, deeply love and accept myself. I accept everything about myself. I know I'm doing my best. I just wanna be better. I would do anything it takes. I'm looking for signs. Somebody please show me signs. I'm grateful for my life, but I wish I could get rid of this illness. I want to do good things in the world. I want to be a good person. I am a good person. I don't deserve this. I'm opening up my mind to heal. I'm opening up my heart. I love myself no matter what. And again, rate your symptoms. Start moving towards the positive now. Even though I have this illness, I deeply love and accept myself. I'm an amazing, strong human being. And I love myself. This illness has been a lot to bear. But I won't give up. I'll never give up. I'll open my mind and my heart I'll try new things. I'll be kind to myself. I'll speak gentle to myself. I love myself so much. I will never give up on myself. Because I deserve to heal. And I am healing now. 
healing slowly, but I am healing. symptoms a scale of 1 to 10 and do one more round of just locking in the positive even though I'm sick I deeply love and accept myself even though I'm not better yet I open to the possibility of being well I open to the possibility of nutrition I open to the possibility putting good in my body, of thinking good thoughts for my body, of getting enough sleep and rest and exercise and listening to my body and listening to my heart and listening to my soul. I'm healing. I know I am. I open to the possibility of healing. I deeply love and accept myself. And let it out and then rate your symptoms. And like I said, you may need to do 10 rounds of these. You may need to do 20. You may need to do 50 before you notice a movement. Um, and don't cut off the negative too soon. If you're finding you really need to get these emotions out, if you're finding you're crying, if you're finding you're hitting the spots, you're saying the things that your soul wants to speak, then that's all good. Tap on that. Don't end there. Always end by moving to being open, to loving yourself, to, ex to, to the positive, to the reverse of that. Like, I'm never going to heal. No, I am going to heal. I am going to heal. So we want that to be the last thing that we tap in. And... A lot of people think that tapping's a miracle and has totally 100% like cured issues and that's because of the mind-body connection. In my experience, it has not done that. I like faster EFT as well, which is just um, the same sequence here, 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 and here, and blow out. It's faster, you can do it faster. And you know we're just we're just looking for something to to bring your emotion down about it, to let your your negative be heard, and then to reinforce the positives. So that's really all tapping is about. And sometimes it's about changing your negative emotions and beliefs and tapping in a new memory. And that is taught more extensively in other. Uh, EFT tapping courses where you know you think of something specific a memory not just an illness or you're thinking of a specific symptom or you're you know and then you're going back and you're trying to find the memory that triggered that and then um, talking about that memory and then changing that memory and then blocking in the new memory sort of tapping in the new memory it's another way it's done but this is just something easy that you can do you can get creative with it you can look up other techniques online but try this, um, try this especially when you're feeling sad, overwhelmed, when you're really feeling helpless or hopeless or down, or your mind is revved and you just need a break. This is a nice calming one to do. It's simple, it's fast, it only takes five minutes, so I hope it helps.